Good morning, welcome to the Daily Driver Show. We're here in Akron, I'm just grabbing the load. I'm gonna go back there, see what we're working with here. I just pulled it out of the dock. I got it parked here so I can uh, check to see if I need to strap the load. I can close the doors. I am gonna slide the tandems because whoever dropped it here before has them pretty far up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm not hauling it that far up. Uh, I normally don't. Normally I have mine pretty, pretty far back. That's the load there, stackable bins, 6,500 pounds, and that's it. So it's going to be a really light load. This is going to Kenosha, Wisconsin. Uh, we're going to run that up there and deliver it today and uh, see what happens after that. But, oh, I didn't turn the lights on. I got to check the lights on the trailer. I didn't even turn them on. So... Let's get this all checked out, get it closed up, locked up, sealed up, tucked in for bed, and uh, run this thing up to Kenosha, Wisconsin. Should be there this evening. Shouldn't be too bad. I'll turn the lights on real fast here. And I'm gonna check all this out, grab the seal, and uh, we'll be getting on the road here soon. That's the trailer we dropped right there, that uh, 1,000. Dropped that one right there. Hooked up to this one. Uh, from the last dock over here pulled it up lined it up so slid the tandems i'm just making sure i got everything got my water i got my diesel my monster here and there i treat myself to one of these i call them diesels is that they'll punch you in the face man they'll crap your pants for you Woo! and i don't need anything else right no i think we're gonna be good well, bills are up there. Good to go. I'll write down the new trailer number on my sheet here. I I write down all the load information all the time. And this trailer is 1060. Looks like a good trailer. So it should be nice and fun, nice and easy. We all ready? All aboard! <laughs> Sunshine now because it's gonna go away. 
once it's gone, it, it might be kind of dreary up in Wisconsin. I do like Wisconsin, though. It is a beautiful state. I do like it up there. There's not many states I don't like. There's certain areas in states that I don't like. But Wisconsin, I like it. I'm originally from Florida, from Naples, Florida, Southern Florida, and I, God, I love Florida. Oh, I love it. Walk right out there, just pick a mango right off the tree and eat it. Mmm. It's the best mango you'll have in your entire life. Mango. We can get back over now because the construction zone's over. It's done with. It has ended. I am past the end road work sign, so I can speed up now. Get back up to 68 mile an hour. I don't need to go 70. 70 is a speed limit, but I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to be the fastest, but I don't need to be the slowest either. Because if I do have to pass somebody, I got an extra two miles an hour I can work with. And if someone's in front of me and they're going a little slower and it slows me down to about 65, I trip plan usually between 55 and 58 miles an hour. So it, it works out. I'll still be a little earlier than what I planned on anyways. So it, it works out good. Uh, friend? want to stay in your lane there? I yeah, was going real close to the line there. You can hold that lane until you pass me. And you're more welcome by all means. You can come over there. Oh, yeah, I can see him in his mirror. He's on his phone. You know, Ohio passed that law. Phone's down. No touchy. Welcome to Indiana. Local time right now is 2 p.m. I'm going to take my break. Uh, the first 300 miles are done. Got about 190 to go. Give or take. 190, 195. Shouldn't be too bad. It's looking like it's definitely going to be raining up there. I did check the, check the weather. And uh, it's definitely raining up ahead. It's moving northbound, so I'm not sure how bad it's going to be. There is some orange and yellow in there as well, and there is a uh, severe thunderstorm alert for about a half hour west of here. So after my break, once we're heading that way, we might be we might be right in it, which I'm okay with that. I like I like severe weather. I like all weather. So we'll see what it turns into. But I'm going to just uh, do a walk around here, check the truck and trailer out, make sure all of that's still good. I'm going to eat some lunch and then get back on the road. And uh, we'll get it, get it finished up. won't take too long. And uh, get up to Kenosha, deliver this. And uh, I, they did send me a reload, but it's not, it's not for tomorrow. It's for Wednesday. Today's Monday. Usually I deliver Monday. I'll pick up Tuesday. This one's for Wednesday, so I gotta find out what's going on with that. I don't know if that was a slight oversight, because this load's due today by midnight, which means I would have a reload for tomorrow. So, I don't know. I'm gonna find out what's going on with that and see, because I'm not gonna sit for a day. They won't have me sit for a day anyways, so we'll be all right. We'll get everything checked out load-wise, figure out what their, what their plan was and see what happens but risinger is always good i've never had an issue with them at all uh, they sent me that load and we'll find out if i'm actually doing that load or if they're sending me down to the shop in morton um the qualcomm cable is uh too short i gotta be able to get my qualcomm out both of the doors uh it's like a dot thing and uh so I need to have a new cable put in. So I don't know if they were going to have me go down tomorrow to get that done. I don't know. We'll find out, though. No reason to panic. But I'm going to check everything out here first before I eat because I'm not sure if that's going to start 
spitting some rain or not. So we'll figure it out. All right. Break time's just about over here. I heard back from Risinger. I gave them a call. They said, we'll get back to you. We'll find out what's going on. They've taken that Wednesday load off of me. And my dispatcher, Tim, has said to, after delivery, hook up to an empty and go to Morton, which is where Risinger's uh, terminal, office, shop, all that good stuff is at. So that's where we're going to be tomorrow. Got a little windy out there. My hair is everywhere. Man. So we're going to be good to go. I'll be there in the morning. I'm going to deliver. I'm going to grab an empty. And I'm going to go and park. And I'm going to be there. Uh, probably at the quick trip in Kenosha. And then first thing in the morning, probably around 4 in the morning, we'll probably take off. Give or take, 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning, we'll uh, take off and head down to, uh, to Morton. And we should be good to go. So, not bad. Welcome to Illinois. The other side of the highway is pretty much shut down and eastbound. Because back in Indiana at exit 16, a Conestoga lost his load of steel on the ramp getting onto the toll road. So now everybody is backed up, everybody is screwed up, and they're just basically a sitting duck right now. I mean, they're, they're backed up now for probably about 15 miles. And thankfully, I'm on the westbound side. We're all moving pretty good here. But they're starting to really slow down over there, and they're going to be sitting and it's not looking pretty. Not looking pretty at all. And uh, going up here through Chicago, well, the outskirts of Chicago on 294 is gonna be real fun with this trailer because it's hanging out to the right. So I am trying to hug this left dotted line here as much as possible. And that trailer is still pretty much on the dotted line on the right. So it, it's a little crazy, but We'll get through it. It's not like I've never done it before. We'll be all right. We'll be just fine. Probably about 90 miles away. We'll get through it. How do you think they did on the way here? Just like they were. How about that? Hmm. That's always good. Always watch on the other side of your doors in case somebody's driving through, walking through, and lock. There we go. Do the same with this side here. Always double check. Yep. Come on. Trying, trying to do this one handed here because I'm holding the camera. There we go. All right. Let's go drop this. All right, dropping this one. We're gonna go find an empty. Normally I don't have to get empties from here because I just go park and I grab a load 
from the same place. But if you remember from earlier, we're going to the shop tomorrow. So we're gonna go look for an empty here and hook up to it. Then we're gonna go and park. Should be all right. I've grabbed trailers from up here before on the right uh, that were damaged and I took them to like Accu trailer and stuff. All right, we got an empty. Trailer 1054. Tandems were already slid and they're not in a bad spot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them there. But right now I'm gonna tug it one more time. It's on there. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go park. I didn't, I didn't get any footage of dropping and hooking and backing in and everything because I'm trying to do this quick. Uh, that way I can go and park and, and just be done. I know usually I try to put the camera somewhere, but I just don't. I don't have the time right now. I gotta get some. I gotta get down the road and park. And uh, see, I sent in the uh, empty at destination, so they know that. Sorry, my mind is just several other places here, I'm trying to keep everything straight. We did it. We have parked, as you can see looking in the mirror. We have parked. So we are done for the day. Uh, let me text my wife real quick, tell her that I have parked safely. But that's that. So we got the empty behind us. First thing in the morning, heading out to Morton. And uh, we're gonna go straight south. So, be a good ride, it always is and uh, head down there, have them do up this Qualcomm cord. I guess they're gonna replace the whole thing. Uh, from what I hear, that's not an easy task, but that's kind of what has to happen because for some reason, you gotta be able to have your Qualcomm go out either door. I guess it's a DOT thing, I don't know. So have them replace that and we'll be done. It was an easy day. It was a very easy day. It always is when you just go to Akron and come up here to Kenosha. It's, it's simple. Just about just under 500 miles and doesn't take that long to do. It's an easy ride. It's just traffic is what you got to worry about. Especially when you get into Gary, Indiana and uh, through Chicago. But other than that, simple. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Like these videos. Leave me a comment. Share these videos with anyone. You can always like the di the daily. You can like the Daily Driver Show on Facebook. Uh, if you're interested in driving with Risinger, I will have the number on the screen. Uh, give them a call. Tell them that Trucker Dave Truck 13303 from YouTube sent you. You might get a referral bonus out of it. You never know. You'll have to ask. And uh, huh, another day done. Well, that's going to be it for today. Appreciate you tuning in and riding along with me, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, and have a great hike.